Oh Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's hashtag anime nerdigan review is going to be for Ren I Boken, aka Love Tyrant, Season 1, Episode 8, titled Farewell X for Rivals, obviously. And I'm sorry this video was not up yesterday. It needed to be up yesterday, but uh, lots of problems are going on. Anyway, um this episode of Ren I Boken was so much better than last week. It was almost a perfect episode. The only thing that was really that the thing that made this not be that this episode not be a perfect episode for me was they cut out the Akua and Kalara stuff and that really pisses me off because it's like you're treated like I don't think the anime likes Kalaris, I swear. Anyway, um this episode um adapts chapters uh 21 and 22 and um and I got to say the way they started this episode was perfect and I liked where it ended before it went to the opening song which was uh, Time for Your Punishment and um, and but this part was skipped in the beginning and that was the, this was the only thing that kind of prevented the opening scene from being perfect which was hold on a second please from Guri before she turned on the music but other than that the opening scene was really really nice and um, and this scene was skipped here too um, with uh, uh, was uh, Suasama that and Sua um, and Suo um, says uh, that woman's child. I see a Connie song. You know what to do, correct? And then we get to the Guri uh, to the confrontation with the Kane. And this scene was really good. There was a few things skipped though. Um, uh, Guri said um, a Connie song. There, um, and this was skipped. There really is something wrong with you today. And um, and this scene here where uh, see, and this is with uh, a Kane. Um, Yuzu and um, and Guri. Then we get to the scene with Seiji and Shikimi and Akua. That scene, for the most part, was perfect, except for this part was uh, was skipped when um, or a couple parts were skipped. Seiji uh, said, um, "Akane-san, um, uh, Akane-san's house is really amazing. It's like a movie set or something." And then she, when Shikimi threw Kalaris at um, uh, Akua, that part was skipped. Uh, this line was skipped. Was Sawi? You were kind of hin a hindrance, you know. And Akua said, uh, after that, I knew it. Um, I knew it. You and Kalara said, Inosan, um, Inosan. And then, um, uh, and then we get back to the, you know, when Seiji gets there. Now let's get to when Seiji gets there to the scene. Um, Akana, uh, um, Akani's mom, Suo, said uh, this part was skipped um, from her. A couple lines were. Uh, but it, it appears what they said about you not dying is true. And it was my mistake to wait for you to mature. I didn't realize you had fallen so low. This, Those were lines skipped. And then this is the part that really pissed me off. Was when this scene with Akua and Kalaris is skipped. And it's again skipped at the end. Uh, another um, uh, thing with them at the end was skipped too. Um, so here's and this is in the middle near the end of chapter 21 so Aku is like climbing up a tree because remember she's scared of Kalaris in this form uh, uh, um, she's like Haha, I managed to get away from that abomination um, but I completely lost sight of, sight of um, Aniki damn it I knew that woman would betray us scratch 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 Akua-san I've been looking for you it's dangerous to be alone you're a girl you know <laughs> um, and Aku is like freaking out and one of the guards is like where do they go Who, who's there um, yeah, yay, and Kalara scratched the guard, um, and in the manga, and again, this was skipped, and, uh, like, I, the reason why I'm pissed that this scene was skipped, it was because it was, um, uh, development in the, um, akua Kalaris relationship, um, anyway, what the heck, ow, ow, Akua-san, take this chance and run away, huh, I've already caused so much trouble for aino san I won't allow his little sister to get hurt, damn it, um, and then, uh, Kalaris does an amazing gymnastic roll, and he landed on his feet, and he says, Ha! A cat's body is quite convenient. Akua-san, I hate being protected by others. Akua-san, how supportive of you. Don't look at his face, don't look at his face, don't look at his face. Damn it, what was that? Ugh. Um, let's see. I think... Wait... I think this, yeah, this, and then we get to, um, and then the end of chapter, uh, 21, 
was perfect. And I liked how it transitioned into chapter 22 when um, it went black screen for a second and um, Akane said farewell. I thought that was really, really nice. So now we're in chapter 22. And at this point, and when I was watching the anime, I was just like, can we have this every week when I Voken? Like seriously, this was so much better than last week. This is a lot better than a lot of the shit you've been giving us. Minus, you know, not having the Kalaris stuff. I, I just wish that Kalaris was, you know, got a little bit more of his role here, but whatever. Um, and this part was, so, um, nothing, like, it was perfect up until, like, you know, Amisha said stop, uh, stop saying stop it, Sue was skipped. And, um, it was, this, everything was perfect. The animation, the music, the dialogue, for the most part, was really, really good. But the only thing I had a problem with was when, um, was when Seiji was saying about, you know, what, Shikimi's explanation, it wasn't supposed to be the sword and the shield shield it was supposed to be the spear and the shield but you know whatever um uh and then i kind of got a little upset when uh they skipped some they did skip a little bit of the lore of the hiyama family which was um, when akane was saying this in her dialogue um in the first place women uh were the ones who dominated in the hiyama household other than that for the purpose of bearing a child being with a man was forbidden and then it was freaking perfect up until um and this uh, um, this part was, uh, skipped. Um, Amisha, uh, said this, and this was skipped. Uh, though that ruthless and acute side of her is exactly like you. And then the Sua Amisha dialogue right here, it kind of bothered me because of what it was supposed to be. What Sua was supposed to say, was supposed to, um, say here, what do you have to say instead of what do you mean? And then Amisha is supposed to respond, I have lots I want to say, but I'm not going to be too mad about that. I'm more pissed about not having the Kalaris Akua stuff. But anyway, um, this part was skipped as well. Uh, when Amisha says, can't you see that it's pointless even if you try to protect her in that ma manner? Besides stuff about your clan or your duty as the family head and such, they weren't really that big of a deal to you, were, were they? Like, stuff like this, when that card skipped, it, I don't know why Renai Bogan just doesn't like lore. <laughs> it really doesn't. They don't like the lore, I guess. Um, but if that part would have been there, I wouldn't, uh, uh, the scene would have been freaking perfect for me. Um, and then Suo was supposed to say to Akane right here, this part was cut, which was, I don't remember raising you to be like that, but women in inevitably change whenever a man is involved, I suppose. And Akane's um, saying, I'll take responsibility for the uh, uh, the consequences was, um, was cut from her dialogue. And then this part with uh, Seiji, you know, when he's saying, you know, talk to me. Um, I, if you're going through something, just talk to me. Um, he was supposed to say after um, he would listen, he was supposed to say, if, you know, if, you know, if, um, he, she didn't go to him and make um, me sad other, otherwise, and that was skipped. And Akane said, it's um, like near the end, that uh, after about being with Seiji Kun, it's like a dream, and that was skipped. But um, everything, uh, oh, um, before I get to the, um, the last part of the chapter that was skipped, I gotta say, the facial expressions were so perfect for the most part. There were some that were kind of meh, but for the most part, the facial expressions were where they needed to be. I'm glad they showed Yuzu turning into a puddle. I loved it. It was really, really good. And I liked where in the scene where Amisha was ch chasing the, the, um, the servant, they put it in a different place than it was in the manga, you know, the dialogue wise, but I, I was fine with it. That was fine. Um, but this part was the last chapter, part of the chapter and it was skipped was, um, Kalar says, huh? A on it looks like it's over. Eh? put uh, Karari on her head so she doesn't have to look at his face. Jeez, they're all okay. Sai, that stupid couple really knows how to make others worry. Sai, indeed. And that part was skipped as well. Um, but other than that, this was, this was almost perfect. I would put it, this was perfect in the title if they would have had the Akua Kalara stuff in. Um, cause the dialogue parts, some of the dialogue kind of bothers me that was skipped, like the stuff that's related to the lore, like in regards to, um, Akane's family. But, um, the main thing was the Akua Kalara stuff was skipped because their relationship, it, it, it um, it changes a lot in the manga and they become really, really close. Uh, I'm talking about Akua and Kalara's. So that's why I'm kind of like pissed about that. But other than that, this was a really good episode and I hope the rest of Renai Boken is like this where we get because I don't want to be like uh, last week or a few weeks ago 
when they skipped so much content, it didn't even feel like Renai Boken. But this week, it really came to life. This manga came to life, and it felt really good to see that. And it felt good to see that Renai Boken is starting to step it up. Um, hopefully, it stays like this for the rest of the season. But um, let me know your thoughts about um, this episode in the comment section below. Like, my main gripe is that I feel like they hate Kalaris, <laughs> and that they don't this anime just doesn't like some of the lore and it kind of bothers me but that's just my opinion anyway uh remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigan zinc if you love what i'm doing um and want to contribute to the nerdigan zinc expansion there's a few ways you can do that you can donate to the nerdigan zinc paypal patreon or purchase something off the nerdigan zinc amazon wishlist all those links are in the description box below also make sure you follow me on the twits aka twitter follow my twitch channel and friend me on playstation network all that's in the description box below as well until next time nerdigans i'll be seeing you later bye